Sorry about that. Wrong button. <laughs> uh, but yes. Uh, welcome back. Hello. Um, yeah, we're gonna get we're we're getting ready to start Assassin's Creed Three right here. Um, the end is only the beginning. I'm being a little lazy with the name of the episode the episode because of the fact that thank you for the welcome back and welcome back to you as well um i'm i'm a little i'm being a little lazy with the name of the of the episode because it's such a good such a good con connection to the to what we just watched with assassin's creed revelation um so uh, I, I just have a couple of quick last minute things to check and we're we'll be ready to start here in just a second all right let's go ahead and swap over to this and let me turn up my so I can test audio Live, we're doing it live. <laughs> Hello, Queen. And yes, I knew you would. That doesn't sound too bad. Sorry, I'm trying to get a... Trying to get a read. Okay. Now, I started to play some... Uh-oh. I started to play some of this game when I first got it uh, with Odyssey. Um, but the... Uh, I've played and completed the original Assassin's Creed 3. Um, I... But I started to play some Assassin's Creed 3 remastered when I got it from with Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I just a bunch of other shit got in my way and I never was able to complete it. Um, in fact, I wasn't very able to get very far in it. So we're going to. We are going to. Oh, I can't wait to get to the tyranny of King Washington. Oh, I love that story so much. All right. So we're going to actually delete. See how it's only like 5%. Yeah. Going to delete that. And start a new game. And instead of naming it Stream, we're going to keep it as Desmond. Used to be when people talked about the end of the world, we locked them up. Or laughed them off. Sometimes both. But we never took them seriously. Maybe we should have. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Better to start at the beginning, with the abduction of Desmond Miles, my son. This boy had no ambition, no direction, no plans for the future. What he did have was a heritage, one he chose to deny. It nearly cost him his life. He was captured and imprisoned. Those who took him believed he could help them find something. The apple. One of several artifacts we call Pieces of Eden. Bits of ancient technology scattered across the globe. Some hidden, some found, all of them dangerous. Oh, Most look, Cesare. By a single group, the same group that now had Desmond. You know them as Abstergo Industries. We know them as the Templars, as the enemy. We've been fighting them for thousands of years, even longer if you believe the stories of their origins. I do. After all, I've seen the truth. That's the beauty and the horror of the Animus. A device that allows us to enter and experience the lives of our ancestors. It holds the power to change everything, to show us history the way it really happened. Up until its creation, to the victor went the spoils, went the truth. We're trying to fix that, to free minds and bodies both. But there's only so much that we can do, and the Templars have the upper hand these days. 
that something larger than the Assassins and Templars is approaching. Bigger than all of us. And if we can't find a way to stop it, these next few weeks will probably be our last. Everyone's last. In the end, it all comes down to him. To Desmond. Through the Animus, he discovered his heritage, explored the lives of his ancestors, and uncovered their secrets. When that was done, he trained. He used another ancestor to provide decades of experience in the span of a few days. It worked. We think. We hope. Soon, I love soon that shot we'll right there. That ominous date fast approaches, December 21st, 2012. None of us knows what it'll bring, only that this is where they want us to be. When it does. They've been guiding us in their own fractured, frustrating way. These voices from the first civilization, the ones who came before, a precursor race of immense power and uncertain motives. They're the ones who made the pieces of Eden. This is where they've led him, and through him, us. He stands at the entrance to this long lost place, armed with the knowledge of Altair and the abilities of Ezio. He holds in his hands the apple of Eden, and we stand at his side, ready to support him, however we can. His name is Desmond Miles, and he has brought us to the end. Hey guys! The most awkward car ride ever. Let's go. All right. So before we get into this, actually properly, let me go into some do some setting stuff, huh? Because I'm gonna need to do that. 144 hertz. Uh, borderless. Yep. Yeah. Um, that's the correct monitor. Very high, high. Uh, let's turn off VSync. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Okay, just to confirm that it, sa it saved the stuff, it did. HDR. We'll see how this looks for you guys here in a second. Give me just a second, because it shifted all of my shit. <laughs> Oh, whoa, 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 game, whoa. Ah, damn it, wrong button. Give me that back. We're doing it live. Normally this is stuff I would do in my free time, but we're doing it live. So bear with me while I... Alright. Can I not go higher than 1920? By 1080? Ah, there we go. I want that. Uh, I'm probably going to have to restart the game. Um, oops, that's not the button I wanted. All right. Blood on, subtitles on, subtitle speaker name on, font size. Let's make it a little bit larger. Um, font color. Uh, let's make it yellow so that it stands out a bit better. 
and on background for the subtitles. All right, uh, and quit. Yes, I'm fine with that. And exit the desktop. Yes, please. One moment. Okay. And then we hit that button again. Now we will see how this turned out. Oop. And it proceeds to immediately minimize itself. Damn it, game. Come on. Yes. Come on. Options. Maybe this will help. Uh, okay. So, general options. Get to that. Change that on. Make that. Okay. Eh, you sure I'll look at the controls. Okay. Nope, that didn't help any. Uh whatever. Um graphics. This is what I'm looking for right here. I don't want nineteen twenty. I do not want nineteen twenty. I want that. Because that is what my monitor's is my monitor is. There we go. There we go. Okay. Now I want the display mode, please. Okay, so apparently I'm bypassing display mode entirely. Uh, and aspect ratio. Bum, 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 bum. We'll turn off the V-Sync. HDR is on. Customize controls. This is what I was looking for. Do that. Now then, back up to this. Okay, 
pause that because I need to do some window rearranging. Whoa, where did OBS go? There you are, OBS. Bear with me, please. Okay, and now. Yay, now I can actually see my stuff again. Okay, now. Graphics. Oh, can I not do display mode at all? Okay, that's fine. That is fine. Okay. Alright. Look at this game! Look at this game! Isn't it neat? Oh, wait. There we go. Look at this game! Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you say the collection's complete? I don't know. What's up, guys? I love that there's just some random graffiti in this cave. <laughs> in People went into moment, this. Down went Alice after it, never once considering how in the world she was I think those subtitles are a little big. Okay, let's 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 shrink those subtitles back down to uh, normal, shall we? Let's see how those look. I might go back if they're depending on how small normal is. I would like somebody to speak. You guys could say something, you know. I think we're here. Okay, yeah, those I will keep it on the normal because the normal side titles are decent sized. You dropped your glow stick there, uh, Desmond. Look at that glowy! Yeah, Queen, I knew you would. I very specifically did that for you. That's fine, Queen. That's fine. Moisturizing your face is important. The Queen... The Queen must not have dry facial skin. James Holden. You're Not a relative. <laughs> Desmond? Do you hear us? 
I love how, I love how Desmond just is like, I know what's about to happen. I'm about to pass the fuck out. And entered into a fugue state. So naturally, you dropped me into the Animus instead of, I don't know, making sure I was okay. You weren't in any danger. Besides, the temple appeared to be communicating with you. And I didn't want to risk severing the connection. At least not until we knew what it wanted. Fair. Right. Of course. Son, I... No, it's fine. I get it. And I know what I'm looking for, by the way. It's a key. There's no idea where it is, though. I guess that's why she triggered the bleeding effect. She? Juno, Dad. She's talking to me. Okay, I might have to turn off the H. I might have to turn off the HDR uh, because it's looking very blown out on OBS. Um, so yeah, let me turn off the HDR. Uh, not HDR. HDR, real quick. See how badly that fucks everything up. Okay, now I can turn on the borderless. Which will make it easier for me to just respond to you guys. Okay, hold on. Let's test that, shall we? Yay! Okay. <laughs> uh, give me just a second. Need to do a little bit of window rearranging now that things are actually how they should be, more or less. Bear with me, bear with me. Okay. Give me just one more second while I check a couple of, of uh, computer settings. Oh, wrong thing. Go back. I want that. Okay. I have that. I have that. That, 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 that. Score. Okay. Allons-y. What do you need me to do? We'll start simple. Walk to the marker over there. New animus, who this? Okay, Desmond, let's practice climbing on these objects. <laughs> objects? Oh, those are those objects. Oh, come on. Yep, there you go, Desmond. Welcome to the Animus 3.0. Free run your way through this little obstacle course. Can do. Free run, aka parkour. That's a constraint. These are optional objectives that raise your synchronization rate. All right, Desmond, follow the on screen instructions and kill the two Templars. Darn, I only have throw money and and my fists. Still deadly. All you have to do here is jump the gap. I failed. Desmond, wrong way. That was pretty cool, but wrong way, Desmond. Then get up on the fence, turn around, jump. There you go, buddy. Oh. 
Oh, Queen. I thought you might enjoy the fact that uh, in the modern day of the of the modern day section of this game, they are physically in New York, in the New York in New York State. I thought you might enjoy that fact, um, because I know how much you love New York. Synchronization levels look good now. We should be able to build the world. Time to find out what the temple wants from you. And because uh, because this is set during the Revolutionary War uh, period, sir. the past sections of this game right, are yes. in uh, the colonies. Just preoccupied, that's all. Don't forget your invitation. Master Birch will be meeting you inside. Thank you. Where shall I retrieve you once you're done? Front of the Opera House. And be quick about it. Don't expect to be here long. I'll bring her round at once. A deadly performance. Invitation, please. Shall I take your coat, sir? Handed you his hat and his invitation. New email received. I have to leave the animus to read it. Um, do I want to leave the animus right now? Nah, I can't. All right, let's see what we got here. We got the animus training center, DNA tracker, animus database. Notification center. Restart memory, exit memory, Ubisoft Club, options. What's in the Animus Training Center? Oh, it's just my stats. How about manual? Oh. Hey guys, let's read through the actual game manual. <laughs> That's going to be the whole stream. Let's do that. That sounds like fun. <laughs> this is the kind of person I am. Ladies, he, I heard him say, ladies and gentlemen, you are kindly requested. And my brain says, to fuck off. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, you are kindly requested to fuck all the way off. <laughs> the Theater Royale. Ro in the Theater Royal. Royale Royal. Uh, you might hear this referred to as Covent, a Covent Garden which it faces, or the Royal Opera House, which it later became. However, this is the original blah, 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 blah. So, uh, time, history, King Charles. Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah, okay. Look at it all. Okay. This way. Actually, the mission has glitched, so I'm gonna restart the memory real quick. Cause the, the mission mar the mission tracker has glitched in the corner. So I'm gonna restart the memory real quick, reset that. Invitation, please. Shall I take your coat, sir? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. You are requested to kindly find your Fuck seat. Off. I mean, find your seats. Good evening, sir. This way, please. Oh, my apologies. Reginald, Reginald Birch. I can't tell you how happy I was to hear they'd mounted this revival. Gay's best work by far. Have you seen it before? Once. My father brought me here as a child. Though I remember little of it. I don't suppose tonight will afford me the luxury of a proper viewing either. No, I'm afraid it won't. On to business then. Do you see him?
be seated in one of the boxes above. The stairs are watched. We'll need to find another way up. I already have. A thousand pardons. So sorry. My apologies. Pushes the guy back into his seat. <laughs> So we're going to stretch the imagination a little bit because you would totally, totally not see a guy climbing across the ledges. Oh, wow. Wow. You guys are missing the, sh the show. Got Whoa. Calm yourself. Calm, calm, calm down, y'all. Calm down. Calm, calm, calm yourselves. Damn. Yeah, for real though, how does nobody on the other side of the theater see this? Like, I would, I would not be able to not see it. Picklock. Move the mouse left and right to locate and hold the tension angle. Mouth up and down to locate and hold the thing and then press the buttons repeatedly to break the lock okay we have lock picking mechanics everyone <laughs> okay A little Dutch courage, huh? Come on. Let me do... There you go. That's what I was trying to get you to do. another way yes but then you would have known for what it's worth I'm sorry as am I Order! We must have order! 
It happened we right in that balcony. What are those men doing? I'm staying where it's safe. Order! We must have order! Hey. Imbecile! Where are you going? Pardon me, pardon me, coming through. Sorry, y'all, I need to... Come on, thank you. How was the opera? Rather dull, truth be told. <coughs> Shall we be off then? Aye. To fleet and bribe. By your command. <laughs> Fascinating. Gentlemen, I hold in my hand a key. If this book is to be believed, it will open the doors of a storehouse built by those who came before. Ah, yes. Those who ruled, reigned, and vanished from the world. Do we know what it is that will be held within? It could contain certain knowledge. Perhaps a weapon, or something as yet unknown, unfathomable in its construction and purpose. It could be any of these things, or none of them. Oop. They are still an enigma, these precursors. But of one thing I am certain. Whatever waits behind those doors shall prove a great boon to us all. Or our enemies, should they find it first. They won't. You've seen to that. I assume you know where this storehouse is? Ah, Mr. Harrison. <laughs> Gentlemen. How fair are your calculations? I believe the site lies somewhere within this region. That's a lot of ground to cover. My apologies. Were that I could be more accurate. That's all right. It suffices for a start. And that is why we've called you here, Master Kenway. We'd like for you to travel to America, locate the storehouse, and take possession of its contents. I'm yours to command. Although a job of this magnitude will require more than just myself. Of course. Upon this paper are the names of five men sympathetic to our cause. Each is also uniquely suited to aid you in your endeavor. With them at your side, Charles Lee, William them. Johnson, and well, I couldn't didn't have time to read the other two. On my way. I knew our faith in you was not misplaced. We booked you passage to Boston. Your ship leaves at dawn. Go forth, Hatham, and bring honor to us all. Please bring honor to us, please bring honor to us, please bring honor to us all. Share might do me good. Give me just a second to respond to this message on my phone. Come on. Sorry, my phone is being a being a butt right now. <clears throat> oh, 
Okay, here we go. We are... Sorry, I just want to look at the DNA tracker real quick. Had the refresher course, the deadly performance, journey to the new world is where we're at. Okay. You know what? Fuck it. Let's play some. Let's play some uh, Nine Men's Morris. I absolutely suck at this game. Uh, sure. I'll play first. I absolutely suck at this game. All right. Uh, here. This probably won't take long. Here we go. Sure, why not? Right. Uh, okay. Okay, um... Shit. I fucked myself. Because he can just keep moving that one back and forth, and back and forth, and back and forth, and just keep removing my pieces until I've got nothing left. Um... He doesn't have to move any of his other pieces. I fucked myself. Forgot that that's how this works. Yep. All right. I'm just going to forfeit. Yep. Like I said, I suck at that game. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, just take, I know I have to go up. I'm just taking a quick look around. All right. There's uh, Hatham's cabin, I believe. The shitter. I thought I heard the old man say, leave her Johnny. Oop, wrong, wrong stairs.
and then all will be well. Are you sure about that? Of course. Have I ever led you astray? Nah. Though you don't sit right with the others. Have faith, my friend. You'll see. Well, well. Seems our esteemed guest has deigned to grace us with his presence. You might want to head back to your quarters. Top deck's no place for tender parnells. <laughs> so I thought. And yet here you are. Oh! yourself a joker, eh? <clears throat> Let's see how funny you find this. That's enough, Graves. Stay out of this. There we go. Listen to this, Hector. Thinks he can swagger on up here and declare himself king of the castle. Please, man, call this off. If the captain sees the us... hell with the captain. And the hell with you, Mill. Who signed you on anyway? to go again if you are this is unwise why is that you think i'm afraid of you no but you should be do you yield never <clears throat> how do you like these odds Mr. Kenway. These fought. We were simply passing the time with a bit of sport, Captain. How about you pass the time by doing your goddamn jobs instead? I wasn't aware I was paying you to loll about. A word, please, Mr. Kenway. Oh, I nearly forgot. There's your knife back. I don't care for you, Mr. Kenway. I've had nothing but trouble since you came aboard. Your problems have nothing to do with me. I beg your pardon? You're a poor leader, ill-tempered and cruel, and it's clear your crew has no respect for you. Damn, dude! Haytham <laughs> just lit this man on fire after dousing him in kerosene. Shit! <laughs> Look, I don't want to argue. In fact, I need a favor. Oh, this is rich. I suspect some of the men intend to mutiny. No. Really? What a surprise. As I cannot <laughs> trust any of them, I am compelled to turn to you. And why should I help you? <sighs> because if they do intend to betray, I'm the only hope you have of reaching America alive. Well, what will it be? If what you say is true, what other choice do I have? Thank you. But let me be clear. Should you ever dare to insult or threaten me again, I'll not hesitate but to cut off your head myself. Are we understood? Absolutely no chill, Queen. Excellent. Proceeds to then steal his drink. Good day. Right? Mr. Kenway. Captain? Whatever they're up to, I believe it's coming to a head. Then I'd best get to work. All 
All right. I need to run to the bathroom, so I'm going to do that real quick. Um, I'll be right back, y'all. Okay, I'm back. Let's get back into this. He's cut our rations again. Claims we're not provisioned for such luxuries. It's not right that you should feast on lamb and wine, whilst we're stuck with tinned fish and biscuits. Someone needs to have words with him. Mills tried. Captain turned him away. Then he must try again, with more force if need be. The captain has been starving his workers so that he can gorge himself. Apparently. Not cool. You're not having second thoughts, are you? Oh no, it needs to be done, but... But what? Another wife and two daughters. What if it goes wrong? There's no one aboard who doesn't agree with us. The longer we wait, the longer we go without. He's a shifty fella. Won't hardly take his hat off. Jeez. You looking for another fight? Is that it? Go away. Yet another game. Now, if I remember correctly, pick that one. that right Roy hey good to see you Hallie yeah how you doing bruh um no not that one Bear. It'd be like that sometimes, yo. Ooh, ouch, that hurt.
No. If I do you... I think that's the only move I can make. Yikes, man. That is a hell of a day. That was the bright side, though. Pretty sure I've lost this, guys. Ah, fair. I was doing well and then I fucked myself. I don't know how I fucked myself, but I did fuck myself. Fair, fair. You guys are going to have to move a little bit closer to my piece. <laughs> Come on. Um, do that. That'll be fine. Maybe. There it is. Oh well. I tried. And we're just talking shit about Haytham there. <laughs> yeah, I should have I should have taken myself out to dinner first. Oh well. Sometimes you just need to just Quite sometimes you just need to get bent great. over and well, folded like laundry, you know. Wasn't by choice. I blockheads the both of them. Where are my manners? Louis Mills. Pleased to meet you. Haytham Kenway. So rude, so, Haytham. Should I be watching my back? I think the boys learned their lesson. They're normally not so nasty. Honest, it's just the past few crossings have been a bit rough. Oh? Captain's trying to cut costs, reduce rations, lower wages, more dangerous cargo. It's put the crew on edge. Is there cause for concern, then? Not if I can help it. But the captain needs to think about the way he treats his men. Captain should be hung. And here's the uh, I'm in more. All right, time to talk to this guy. You there? I have some questions for you. That's nice, but I ain't got time to gossip. Probably wouldn't have anything useful to share anyway. You want information? Try the cook or the doctor. Everyone's always chatting them up. Shall we go for the cook or the doctor? What do you guys think? Cook or doctor? We go to the cook. Try to get some information. Or the doctor over here. Doctor, Queen votes doctor. All right, uh, to the doctor we go. 
purely because of the do we aspect, huh? A doctor, if you have a moment. Have you taken ill? Oh, nothing like that. I was wondering if you'd heard any rumblings of trouble aboard. What sort of trouble? Unusual complaints or grievances. Men taking issue with the captain. You or the sound passengers. just like James. Like I told him, I've been much too busy with my research to notice anything not work related. And where might I find James? The galley's your best bet. Now, if you'll excuse me. True, true. Fair enough, Queen. However, I wasn't going to say that live on the internet. I mean, I could have. That's not really outing, but. I haven't speak with James. Are you James? Hi. Atham Kenway. Pleased to meet you. I know who you are. I was hoping you could answer some questions. I figured as much, but not here. Follow me. Oh, what do you want to know? Have you seen or heard anything out of the ordinary since we left port? Anything that gives cause for concern? Some of the men have been gathering at night on the upper deck. I've only caught bits of their conversation. <laughs> I see you, I Queen. It bodes ill. Is it a mutiny they're planning? All I know is they have little love for the captain. Mills has been trying to talk him down, but there's only so much one man can do. Thank you for the information. I only wish to see us reach the colonies alive. Hello, Captain. You must expose whatever they're plotting. Your crew is a tight-lipped bunch, but I'll see what I can do. Well, hurry up. Do 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 do. Evening, sir. How are things? Calm and quiet. Just the way I like it. <laughs> what brings you topside? Thought I'd wander a bit. Stretch my legs. That's all. Say care where you tread. The deck hides all manner of danger in the dark. What was that? Someone's throwing cargo overboard. But why? Quite the basting you gave Graves and Quill. Wasn't by choice. Aye. Blockheads, the both of them. Where are my manners? Louis Mills. Pleased to meet you. Atham Kenway. So, should I be watching my back? I think the boys learned their lesson. That they're normally not so nasty. Honest, it's just the past few crossings have been a bit rough. Oh? Captain's trying to cut costs, reduce rations, lower wages, more dangerous cargo. It's put the crew on edge. Is there cause for concern, then? Not if I can help it. But the captain needs to think about the way he treats his men. He 
He's cut our rations again. Claims we're not provisioned for such luxury. If you're right that you should feast on lamb and wine, we're stuck with tinned fish and biscuits. Most curious. Most curious. Any news? Each night it's the same. I scout one area, and they drop the painted barrels from another. I'm going to need to recruit an extra pair of eyes. Maybe James or Mills. Why are they doing this? Near as I can tell, the barrels serve as markers. They're leaving a trail. My fear is it's only a matter of time before whoever's following it. Ship sighted off! She's making ready to fire! Beat to quarters, men! Ready the... Brace! Everybody down! A warning shot! Seems they don't mean to sink us, but board us instead! Man the cannon! Make ready to fight! I want you below decks! Why? Let me help you secure the ship. Do you know how to rig a sail? To load a cannon? To wage war at sea? I do! I didn't think so. At least now in the process of the camp. game, not or in real life, I'd be worthless. <laughs> but because I played the next game, Assassin's Creed 4, yes, yes I do. I've also played this game, so yes, yes I do. <clears throat> hey, Tim. Have you been topside? A ship's appeared and means to board us. It's strange. There's no sign of mutiny aboard. Doesn't make sense. Ah, but it does. What do you mean? Did you think you could escape from London so easily after what you did at the opera? That we wouldn't notice? That we wouldn't follow? Ah. Oh. So that's what this is about. Surrender, and I will see that you are treated with honor. If you wish to treat me with honor, give me a sword. Are you sure this is how you want to play it? told you to stay below decks. I did as you asked. Only Mills was there waiting for me. He's the one that drew that ship here. There was no mutiny. Only him. What do they want? Me. Then they can have you. Is that so? They'll catch us anyway. 
There's nothing to be done. I can think of something. You wish us to sail into the storm? It's our only chance. I won't do it. He's so his father's son. Then I will. All right. All right. Come on, Nathan. goes the pursuers. Make ready for our arrival, men! Arrival? I see no land, only this interminable fog. The gulls tell us all we need to know. Climb into the crow's nest and you'll see.
I love this song so much. The music in the Assassin's Creed games are so good. So good. <clears throat> Master Kenway. Master Kenway. Yes, ma'am. There's Charles, Charles Lee. Lee sir. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. I've been asked to introduce the abominable you Charles Lee. Oh, no need, sir. I've arranged for your bags to be delivered. Useless to Charles Lee. Are you by any chance? Okay. Uh, I will be right back again. I'm gonna go for another half an hour because I started a. <laughs> I'm a general. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, there will be a lot of Hamilton references. Um. But yeah, I'm going to run to the bathroom. I'm planning on going for another half an hour. Uh, so yeah, I will be right back, y'all. Okay, I'm back. Let's go. Isabella's son. One and the same. Your commission is with Edward Braddock, is it not? Aye. But he's yet to reach America, and I figured I might... Well, at least until he arrives, I thought... Yes? Out with it. Forgive me, sir. I had... I had hoped that I might study under you. Hello, sir. If I am to serve the Order, I can imagine no better mentor than yourself. Kind of you to say. But I think you overestimate me. Impossible, sir. This way. Thief! Someone stop him! Oop. Wrong button. Boston's quite a lively city. There's all manner of things to see and do. Welcome Once to Boston. In, I suggest you take some time to walk the streets. Who knows what opportunities you might discover? Hold a moment. I need to fetch a few things before we get to work. I'll arrange for horses while you do that. All right, so here's our map. There's our marker. Oh, wrong thing. This is what I want. There we go. Come on, Haven. Come on. There you go. There's a million things I haven't done, but just you wait. Get back here with that, you rogue! Hello, sir. What you got for me? Come on, let me give me the mission. Deliver the four letters in Boston. All right, let me pull up the map. Oh, get out of the, get out of that, Hatham. Let's go. All right, one delivered. Okay, so I'm gonna ping that one, if it'll let me. There we go. And then I just head, there we go. <clears throat> Hello. 
Hello. Old meeting house. There you go. All right, twelve hundred pounds. This accursed city will be the death of me. Hello, Ben Franklin. You seem troubled, friend. That's because I Good am... Good old Benny. Greatly so, in fact. What's happened? I was robbed. The old Balkan file. And though I've managed to restore what's mine, I fear it's ruined. You mean the book? This is no ordinary book. It's an almanac. The first I ever wrote. <clears throat> Benjamin Franklin, pleased to meet you. Hatham Kenway. You must be new to Boston. Why do you say that? You're still possessed of virtue. <laughs> often help an old lout like myself. I... I don't mean to impose, but... You seem a spry fellow. Should you happen to find my missing pages, I'll reward you. Look, I'm not sure if I... It's all right, all right. If you have the time, hurrah! If not, no harm done thing is useless in its current state anyway but should you somehow manage to restore it you'll find me inside that general store over there well that was interesting you come and enter please All right, so normal sword, yes, please. Firearms, yes, please. I did the thing, guys. Come on. There you go. There we go. In today's weekly advertiser. We ride for the Green Dragon Tavern. The proprietors are eccentric, but the rooms are spacious and they do not cry. Have you been told why it is I've come to Boston? No. Master Birch said I should know only as much as you saw fit to share. He sent me a list of names and bade me ensure you could find them. And have you had any luck with that? Aye. Oh, William by the way. Johnson waits for us at the Green Dragon. How well do you know him? Not well, but he saw the order's mark and did not hesitate to come. Prove yourself loyal to our cause, and you may yet know our plans as well. I should like nothing more, sir.
Oh, I want to show you guys something real cool real quick. Something that I love that they... Ah, oh, damn. Cutscene. Oh, well. Oh. Okay. Well, fine. Something that they added to this game that has stuck around... That stuck around for several games is when you're being chased, you, en you can enter someone's house and you have a short sequence of uh, when you lose them. A and it it'll help you lose them. It's kind of great. Um, there's a window one and a uh, doorway one. Is it blinds to the roofs? All right, there is something that I want to see if I can't find. Okay, uh, let's go find that conversation there. Vigilante's over there. Uh, Syndicate had it as well, I believe. I know Unit. I know Unity had it, but they they have it in several of the games because it's one of my it's one of the best features that they had. But um, they definitely don't have it in the three most recent. Um, let's go have this conversation. But I know they had it in Unity. I know they had it in this one. This one, Black Flag, Rogue, Unity. I do not recall if they had it in Syndicate. But I think they did because Syndicate was basically the same engine as Unity. Though better. More polished. Um... Which coincidentally makes it one of the things that has stuck around for more, the most ga number of games in a row. Uh, one of the things that's not like a staple of the series, like Leaps of Faith and Eagle Vision and uh, stuff like that, you know? Yeah, that's why I'm not sure about Syndicate either. So I don't, that's why I don't remember for sure. We'll find out eventually when we get there. Hello, sir. Hello again. More almanac pages? Well, not quite. It's a treatise, actually. Treatise. Oh? Concerning what? The benefits of taking an older woman as a lover. Historical this. fact. Here. This I'd like to hear. First and most obvious, <laughs> they're wiser. And so this makes for far more stimulating conversation. Makes other things more stimulating as well, but more on that in a moment. All right. Your argument for experience makes some sense. Second, when beauty fades, women must improve their utility, lest they be discarded and forgotten. Rare is an old Benjamin woman Franklin, not everybody. Also kind, Historically accurate. And good. That's something of a generalization. But also true. Now, on to the third. Older women cannot conceive, which means one less thing over which to fret. In fact, you also decrease the chance of acquiring something like the French pox, its presence clearly visible, or the woman dead. And should one desire a child? Then make a young woman your wife. Let the older one be a mistress. And that brings me to my fourth point. With age comes prudence. An older woman is less likely to reveal your indiscretions. Yes. I suppose you know quite a bit about that. And proud of it, thank you. As to the fifth Breath. reason, because in every animal that walks upright, the deficiency of the fluids that fill the muscles appears first in the highest part. The face first grows lank and wrinkled. Then the neck, then the breast and arms. The lower parts continuing to the last as plump as ever. So Bruh. covering all above with a basket and regarding only what is below the girdle, it is Bruh. impossible of two women to know an old from a young one. And as in the dark all cats are gray, the pleasure of corporal enjoyment with an old woman is at least equal and frequently superior. Every knack being by practice capable of improvement. Bruh. You mad bastard. Well, it's true, and believe me, I should know. I've sampled a great many. You should try one as well. Like a fine wine, they only improve with age. Although I suppose if left unattended too long, some have a tendency to sour. And that, my friend, is a most unpleasant experience. Better to work in a field often plowed, you know? Bruh. Is there more? Indeed, indeed. The sixth is this. 
The sin is less. To take a maiden head is a great responsibility. Mishandled, it can ruin lives. No such risk with an older woman. And this implies the seven. Younger women are more given to compunction. Anxiety and unease are not present in the more aged and experienced. And as to the last of my reasons, well, it's really quite simple. Older women are so very grateful for the attention. You make a compelling argument, Mr. Franklin. I might just have to run a few tests myself. I highly recommend it. Brah. Historically accurate Benjamin Franklin, everybody. Good old Ezio, Ezio's Brotherhood outfit. Altiera's outfit. My name is Captain Kid, and I sail, and I sail. Good old Bayek. Oh, Jacob Fry. Sorry, I'm just enjoying seeing all of these assassins outfits from all of the games up to the present. Including Aguilar. Aguilar being the one from uh, the Assassin's Creed movie starring Michael Fassbender, I believe. I owe you a great thanks, by the way. What for? Speaking with me. You see... I have very few friends in Boston these days. And what did you do to earn their ire? Started with a cartoon I drew. Yes, this is Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered, which means it, and that came free with my copy of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. No, no, this is remastered. They don't retract, I mean, they, they should retroactively, but they don't. <clears throat> Yeah, this is an Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered, which came free with uh, my Assassin's Creed Odyssey purchase. Um, and with it also came... And so, like, with that Assassin's Creed Odyssey purchase, I got Assassin's Creed 3 um, Remastered, and I got Assassin's Creed 3 Liberation Remastered, which is the one I'm playing immediately after I finish 3. Suggesting unification... How else can we hope to withstand the French menace? I proposed something similar at the Albany conference as well, and it ruffled quite it a It would be fucking habits. cool if they did add them retroactively, See, though. I've begun to wonder if Imagine Altair running around dressed as... The colonies um, might be better off independent than... Alexios or something like Most that. Most of my peers, however, haven't taken kindly to the suggestion. Are things truly so bad under the crown? But you've answered your own question. Under. Why under? It should be side by side. Does France reside beneath Britain? Do the Italians? The Prussians? The Spanish? No. Sure, they may disagree from time to time, even come to blows, but they stand on equal ground. And we should as well. Are the colonies not simply an extension of the kingdom, though? Another borough, if you will? No, we are not. We've evolved into something else, something distinct. Hmm. I suppose it's only natural to desire parity. We leave behind our parents, our childhoods, our homes. 
and seek to find a place in the world. If it's true for a person, why not a nation? Yes, yes, exactly. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, I've taken up enough of your time. Please, don't let me keep you from your work. Uh, let us speak later, my friend. Okay. Come on, Hatham. There you go. Around the corner. Thank you. I hear something whistling. Aha! Almanac page. Okay, so... As with prior games, collection things like the Almanac pages and things like that, I'll be doing outside of streams. Um, I'll be exploring the maps in, to their entirety outside of streams and things like that. Um, missions and things like that will be accomplished in stream. And that includes things like delivery missions. Because they they throw in story in the most random locations in this game, from what I recall. A lion, cheating, no good, son of a bitch. Perhaps we've come at a bad time. Oh, don't be foolish, dearies. Please. Sit. Dearies. Fancy something to eat? A drink, perhaps? Or is it a bed you require? We've already let rooms here. Uh, oh yes, <laughs> of course. Masters Lee and Kenway, uh, was it? Ah. Uh, I'll have your bags brought up. Girl, you need you need to calm yourself. Uh, do you require and dude, anything? Dude. Dude. Only privacy. Bruh, proprietor, sir, you should be the one carrying this, this shit. Just saying. Only privacy. Talk to her? No? Okay. Rude. You didn't need to shove me. Sir, William Johnson. A pleasure. A good lad. If a bit earnest. I'm told you're putting together an expedition. We believe there's a precursor site in the region. I require your knowledge of the land and its people to find it. Sadly, my research has been stolen. Without it, I'm of no use to you. Then we'll find it. Do you have any leads? My associate, Thomas Hickey, has been making the rounds. He's quite good at loosening tongues. Well, tell me where I can find him. I'll see if I can't speed things up. We've heard rumors of bandits operating from a compound southwest of here. You'll likely find him there. Charles? Sir. We'd best be off. Of course. Dun dun dun. Okay. Can I? Can I? Sir, I'd like that. Thank tell you. Tell me about yourself, William. What's to tell? I was born in Ireland to Catholic parents, which I learned early in life severely limited my opportunities. So I converted to Protestantism, 
and journeyed here at the behest of my uncle. But I fear my uncle Peter was not the swiftest of men. He sought to open trade with the Kanyan Gahaga, but chose to build his settlement away Kanyan from the trade routes instead of on them. I tried to reason with the man, but <sighs> as I said, not the swiftest. So I took what little money I'd earned and bought my own little plot of land. I built a home, a farm, a store, and a mill. Humble beginnings, but well situated, which made all the difference. So this is how you came to know the Mohawk? Indeed. And it has proved a valuable relationship. But still no mention from your contacts of the precursor site. No hidden temple or ancient constructs? Yes and no. Which is to say, they had their fair share of sacred sites. Earthen moons, forest clearings, hidden caves. But nothing matching what you describe. No strange metals. No odd glows. Hmm. It is well hidden. Even to them, it seems. But cheer up, my friend. You'll have your precursor treasure. I swear it. To our success, then. And soon. Not be much longer. Okay. I'll let you know as soon as I have something. Canyon, Canyon, Kahaka. Probably butchering that pronunciation. All right, here's an asshole. Thomas Hickey? <coughs> Who's asking? Haytham Kenway. Is that supposed to mean something? Well, show some respect, boy. Peace, Charles. William Johnson sent us in the hopes we might expedite your search. Don't need no expediting. Don't need none of your fancy London speak, neither. I found the men that done the theft. Then why are you just lazing around? Figuring out how to deal with those varlets. I have an idea. Well, let's hear it. I'll kill the lookout, take up a position behind the guards. Uh, you two approach from the front. When I open fire on the group, you charge in. We'll have the element of surprise on our side. Half will fall before they've even realized what's happened. Cunning. Get into position. But wait for me to take the first shot. Thank you for the resubscription. Glad you could make it. Now, we can blow the door with those. Go on, shoot them. <laughs> on with the show, then.
guess they wasn't so safe inside after all. Come on, pick up the... Pick it up. There you go. Lay down your weapons, and I'll consider letting you live. I make you the same offer. We've no quarrel. I only wish to return this chest to its rightful owner. Nothing rightful about Mr. Johnson. I won't ask again. Agreed. kind is no need for books and maps who put you up to this never seen a person it's always been dead drops and letters but they always pay so we do the jobs well those days are done tell your masters i said as much <laughs> who should i say you are you don't they'll know Hey, Fum, this one's got some shot on him. You might want to be grabbing it on account of your pistol being parched. A shame so many had to die. Aye, uh, back to the Green Dragon then. I need a drink. Don't let go of the chest, Charles. We'll take care of this rebel. Come on. Wait, them bodies is sure to have loot on them. Would be a shame to let it all go to waste. Are you mad? In case you've forgotten, we're in the midst. How is stream? Stream is almost done. I'll be done in about six minutes. Reload.
Don't pick that up. There you go. And there you go. I mean, fair. Know your know your worth, man. There you are. <clears throat> My thanks, Master Kenway. No. Tell me what it is you need. <laughs> the images on this amulet, are they familiar to you? Perhaps one of the tribes has shown you something similar. It appears Kanyan Gahaga in origin. Can you trace it to a specific location? I need to know where it came from. With my research returned, perhaps. Let me see what I can do. Thomas! What? Rent yourself a room. And a bath as well. I suspect we'll be here for a while. Fair. And with that, that's where we're going to call it for today, y'all. Uh, we finished Assassin's Creed Revelations. You know, you know how it be. We've, we were able to finish Assassin's Creed Revelations and started Assassin's Creed 3. So, you know, excitement. Um... Tomorrow will be more Tomb Raider 3. Remember that I will not be streaming next week. Um, I may be streaming the, day, the week after that. I'm not sure. Um, basically, if I don't announce that I'm streaming on uh, the day of, then I won't be. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I hope you guys have all, all have a happy holiday. Um, check out these amazing people up here at the top check out my social medias in my uh youtube and my things like that All right here um social medias discord etc check out the like i said check out these amazing friends of mine up here and i have even more suggestions available in my link tree as well um also in my link tree are crisis resources they are for suicide prevention substance abuse domestic abuse and sexual assault however if you are outside of the states those those uh domestic uh, um those um crisis resources may not work so you may need to find ones that's specific to your area um and uh <laughs> remember to have empathy be kind be safe love yourself and love everyone around you and i will see you all next time i love you all peace out